Good afternoon. Good afternoon to all the viewers. I'm not allowed to say good afternoon everybody anymore because then Craig, who is on camera today, will tease me mercilessly. My name is James Henry, and it's wonderful to have you with us on the vehicle. I know we've had a very late start today. It's just because we've been searching for things here on the Masai Mara National Reserve side of the Mara River, and the first thing of great interest we have found is Africa's largest eagle. That, of course, is the Marshall Eagle. And behind the Marshall Eagle, sitting in a glorious tree, is a yet another dry season storm that seems to be thundering up overhead. Isn't he a magnificent fellow? Not common, but they are around from time to time. He's eyeing a herd of wildebeest. I think it's very unlikely that even despite his 2.8 meter wingspan, 2.7 meter wingspan on a very big one, uh, I think it's still unlikely that he's going to take himself a fully grown wildebeest. Uh, even a small wildebeest would be much too much for him. He's more into lizard. He is a great fan of rock monitors. See how he turned his head immediately as I said, rock monitors. Yes, I haven't seen any, I'm sorry. Now we're as live as all the rest, so please do talk to us using the hashtags for live or questions. No, not questions, no. Hashtags for live or the chat, chat section of the YouTube broad, broadcast. Yes, Kestrel Fox, you say, ooh, that's not a vulture, that's a very pretty eagle. They are pretty, but I think they're quite intimidating looking too. I think they've got a, a very sort of a mean and serious face. Not mean, very serious and sort of uh, intimidating looking face, I suppose. They look a bit like one of the angry girlfriend I once had. Yeah, he's a little bit sort of shivery when I see a martial eagle. Our plan this afternoon, other than avoiding the wetness, oh dear, my phone is now talking to me. Every single time I come out on drive, Siri of the phone decides it needs to talk to me, which is very disconcerting. Anyway, our plan is to head off to the now to the east. We've come to Lookout Hill to look for some lions, didn't find any. We're going to the east where we have reports from our fearless technical genius, Jared Jennings, who says that there are hundreds of thousands of wildebeest there in the far east of the Mara. So that's where we're going now. Isn't that a beautiful picture? Hmm. Kimberly, what a very good question. You said, do all us guides have proper rain protection? Uh, I'm going to go along with no, none of us have proper rain protection. This is because we live in Africa. Now, there are a couple of things that happen when you live in Africa. The first thing, especially if you live in South Africa or in Kenya, is that you get amnesia when bad weather happens. So, for example, in Johannesburg, where I live, it's cold for three months of the year. Nobody is prepared for the cold, but they forget on the 1st of September that it has been cold, and so they never sort themselves out. The same goes for rain. It's mostly dry, which means that when it does rain, it's always an enormous surprise and everyone gets wet. Let's head back across to the small chief with Tristan. I think we have a 19 second delay today, so I'm not sure how long I'm going to have to keep waffling before you're able to go across to him. Uh, uh, Alice, Alice, tell me, tell me how long. Alice? Oh, we're not doing a countdown. We can just stop speaking and then you'll link when you're ready. Okay, bye. See you later. <laughs> 